Hey, this is Brian with another tech tip. How would you like to have a paperless classroom, never having to photocopy or receive paper handouts or um, any papers being handed in from students? Wouldn't that be awesome? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to do it using Google Apps. The first thing I do is I go to my Gmail page, which is my home page, and I am going to open two new tabs. So on the Mac, I'm gonna click Control Click on Documents, and on the PC, I would right click and say Open Link in New Tab. Open Link in New Tab. And what that's gonna allow me to do is have another tab right here, which is my Document tab. And I'm gonna do one more for Sites because I'm gonna add my form to my site. I'm gonna go over to my documents, and let's say that uh, all my students are reading uh, different books, and I wanna know how they're doing. So I'm gonna ask them for their name, uh, first name, last name, what book they're reading, and how many pages they've read so far. Uh, I'd probably get them to email me that, or put that on a piece of paper that I'd have to alphabetize. Creating a Google form, automatically goes into Excel spreadsheet so you can use it for your grade book or for other rec record keeping purposes. So in Google Documents, I'm gonna click on New and go down to Form, okay? New Form. And I'm gonna call the form uh, Reading Log and then the date, 09, 01, 09. I am going to uh, create a couple questions. So the first sample question, is what is your first name, first name. It's gonna be a text question type, and I wanna make it required. So I click on done. Uh, I can click on sample question two. So the way that you edit any question once you've created it is you go over to the pencil. That's the edit button. If you're not sure what any of the buttons do, you can always just scroll over it and it will pop up and tell you. So you click on the pencil, edit. This is gonna be uh, last name and make it required, click done. Now, to add any other items, it's right up here, it says add items, so I click on that. I'm gonna add a text question. Uh, what novel are you reading for class? And make that required. And then maybe a little hint, uh, the title. Just in case. And let's also add one more item. So I could do a checkbox, I could do multiple choice, I could do a scale, you know, how far are you in the novel, but it's actually probably easier to just get the page count. So I say, how many pages have you read so far? And just to kind of get a feel for where the students are in the novel, make that required and click done. And that is all there is to it. I can customize it in many different ways, but basically this uh, form is now done press save, even though I'm pretty sure it automatically saves. And then right down here, it says you can view the published form here. So I can just right click or control click and copy that link. And now that's the link that I could share with my students. Or I could post it on my Google site, on my digital portfolio. So I'm gonna show you both ways, okay? So I've copied this URL, this, uh, this address, and I'm gonna go to one of my favorite sites called Trim, tr.im. It's a URL shortener. It likes to take these long URLs, these long website addresses, and make a short one out of it. So I'm gonna paste it up in here, and I'm gonna give it a little custom code. So I'm gonna use my last name, and then we'll give the date, 090109, click on trim. And that way I could write on the board, uh, you know, if they're writing down their homework, uh, I could say, go to trim slash Dixon 090109, which is the date, and it's a lot shorter than that original address. Now I'm gonna go over to my sites and click on one of the digital portfolio pages that I have, and I'm going to create a page and call it um, reading novel reading update. How about that? Update, click on create page. And this is now automatically added to the navigation on my site. And if I wanna edit the page, I can just start typing. Again, it's a WYSIWYG editor. It's a what you see is what you get editor. So you don't have to really know any uh, crazy coding or scripting or anything like that. So I could just paste the link right there for students to go to. Or this is a really cool feature. Anything you wanna insert in Google Sites, you just click on insert and go down and insert spreadsheet form because that's what I've created. So click insert 
spreadsheet form. And it's going to automatically check my Google Docs and look for all my forms. I created the reading log 090109 form. So I click on that and click on select and check this out. It's going to give me a couple options. And then I click on save. It's going to paste it right in there. I won't be able to see it until I save it. So I go up here and I click on save. And now, there you go. Right on digital portfolio, you have the form that students need to fill out. And this is the power behind Google Forms because instead of having to print out a piece of paper or do the photocopying, I just say, go to my digital portfolio. There's a new page, novel reading update. They just fill it in and submit it. You know what? Let's actually go ahead and try it. So I am going to go ahead and I can fill this out as an example. Brian Dixon, what novel are you reading? I'm reading The Alchemist. Pages, I am page 75. Scroll down and click Submit. And what it's going to do is it's going to take what I created and it's going to send it to my Google Docs. And now it says, thank you, your response will now appear on my spreadsheet. Now check this out. Because I'm the creator, I can go over to my Google Docs and automatically, uh, let me refresh it, automatically, in my Google Docs, you are going to see uh, the form. There it is, called Reading Log. Now that there's that, now that a response has been given, if I click on that, it's not going to give me the form view anymore. It's going to give me the uh, the data view. So check this out. I've got a timestamp, so I know when the students did the homework. I know everything that they said and the question that they answered. And as students fill out their the form, it's all going to show up right there on your uh, Excel spreadsheet, on your spreadsheet. If I wanna change it, I can just go to the, um, the edit form button and that will let me maybe update a question or change something like that. And so it's a, a very useful tool. You don't have to create a new form every time you collect um, homework from students. So that is a very simple way for you to go from taking all this paper in your class to a paperless classroom. I know I went really fast, so feel free to watch it again. And I would love your comments. Thanks so much. Bye.